Good morning, church. I trust that you're doing well today, that as we move through this holy week, that we think of the sacrifice that Jesus made for each of us on the cross and the journey that he went through in order that we might see God more clearly. When I think about Jesus' sacrifice, I can't help be focused on the fact that God's grace is with us throughout our entire lives. That we speak of God's grace as the only way that we can be made right with God. Because God shows us favor. God loves us. We are God's children. From the moment we were conceived, we were God's children. We have been loved by God each and every moment of our life that God loves us with a love that cannot fail. And at times in my life, I felt that God may have been distant from me or, or that somehow God had abandoned my needs. And it was truly at those times when God was loving me more than ever and wooing me back into a relationship with him. God's love is steadfast. We talk about God's grace being prevenient, meaning it comes to us before before we even knew who God was, that God loved us and God showed us grace. And that God's grace is what allows us to do the things that God would have us to do, to show love to others. That we have the love for others because, because God first loved us. And as we continue through our lives, we realize that God loves us and has seen us through some of the toughest times. And it's hard when we're in a storm like we're in right now to not question where God is and where God's love is. But let me assure you that God's love never fails, that he continues to love you and reach out to you and to woo you into a relationship with him. And that someday you can say, Lord, I know you love me and I love you. And I demonstrate that love by showing it to others, that others will know of your love through my actions and my words and the way I show care and concern for others, not strictly focused on myself and my own needs, but the needs of those around me, the needs of those who are reaching out to you, that I can somehow be a witness to them, that they too can know of your love and grace in their life. The song I'd like to share with you this morning is, is written to the tune of Danny Boy, or London Dairy Air, as you may know it. It was put together by a, a gospel singer named Dottie Rambo. And the name of the song is, He Looked Beyond My Fault and Saw My Need. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. For it was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just why he came to love me so. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous the grace that caught my falling soul. He looked me on my fault and saw my need. Amazing grace shall always be my song of praise. Was grace that bought my liberty. I do not know just why he came to love me so. He looked beyond my fault and saw my need. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous that caught my falling soul. He looked me on my fault and saw my need. I shall forever lift my eyes to Calvary to view the cross where Jesus died for me. How marvelous the grace that caught my falling soul. Look beyond my fault 
and so Amen and amen. Go in peace and celebrate the fact that God loves you and that we are called to reflect that love to others, that others may know of God's grace in their life too and believe that God truly has loved them from the moment they were born all the way through today and forever. Amen. Have a great day. Bye-bye.